Alright then, so hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. Uh, I'm just splitting this one up into two minisodes because that'll keep this a little bit uh, shorter. I would split it up into three, but it's a little bit easier to keep my videos organized this way. Though it might not be worth my time because if I fail I have to repeat more, but minor details. And what am I doing in the menu? I don't have anything to do in the menu yet. This segment isn't... Uh, particularly long, but it's kind of technical. Like, there's a lot of little details and stuff, because there's a lot of menuing, and the battles aren't exactly the sort of one strap fits all battles that I can sometimes get away with. This is more like end of the Magitek facility battles, where I'm gonna want to do something different depending on what I'm fighting. So, uh,. But, it, unlike the end of the Magitech facility, this is really, really short. Thunder Rod for Strago. That'll be handy. Uh, I hope I didn't move my control stick. Um, yeah, let's try leaving before I uh, equip anything, because I don't know if I hit my control stick there by accident. I have the buttons mapped to the button pad, but sometimes I can move the stick by accident and move them, even though I'm using the button pad for my actual movements. Alright, all the way to the left. Let's try this again. Hopefully I'll make it out soon. There we go. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Alright, so... Now to get done with the actual menuing. So left... First of all, I want to put Terra in the back row. Let's go back into the Mesa for a second. That way I can confirm where my button is using the save button. Config? Alright, so I can switch lock onto player 2 slot, that way Terra's alone, because I'm going to be doing a little bit more with her, I think, than the other characters. Not a whole ton more, but... Alright, so... Save. Item. Skills. Equip. Relic. So I'm still on Terra. Remove both her things. Because I kind of got to swap one of them with Strago, so there's no uh, ands, ifs, or buts. I got to remove one. Equip. Top slot. All the way down to the bottom. And shove that life bell on him. Because that way, uh, I figure he's got higher stamina than Terra. So he'll benefit more from that. Relic. Even though Terra's got higher HP, but that'll work better with her defense because she's going to get tentacled more often than Strago will, in theory at least. Uh, let's exit back out again, I forget where my cursor is. Relic, Terra, Equip, Top Slot, all the way down to the bottom, Second Slot, Two down to the Guard Ring. Relic, up to lock, equip, first slot, uh, all the way down to the bottom, and up onto the thief glove. Almost done now. Lock, equip, top item, blood sword. Next thing, demon spain. Uh, whoops, I forgot something. Equip, lock, equip, top. Ninja gear. Okay, done. Now I've got a little bit more preparations to do. Now that Locke's going, now that I'm out of the burning house, I'm gonna go back to a more standard strat with Locke having, being the master of evasion and uh, attack power, so he's getting back that sort of setup. 
buy some warp whistles. I don't need them in the near future, but who knows when I'm gonna forget them, because, <laughs> you know. Exit the town for the second time. Got one more uh, time to go in here. Run all the way up to the top here because I want to hit the rock face up here because I'm going to the inn. Because when I equip, I get here healed after the burning house mandatory sort of thing, but uh, Terra is still missing 50 MP that she'll otherwise have from the magic cube. It's probably not a big deal. I don't think I'll run out, but because I'm just walking to the cave and then I can use a tent. But I'm getting myself set up here for later as well, for the second mini-sode. There we go, going to sleep. Good night. Getting a good eight hours. And somehow in that five seconds it took the jingle to play. One, two, out the door. Hit the flower bed. Gotta love how flowers can just stop my way. Just stop me dead in my tracks. That should be good. And now we can exit to actually go on an adventure here. So, made it out of the town. Mm, let's just start walking. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was gonna equip Strag with the Thunder Rod, but I don't know how to do that because I never scoped it out. Alright, so player two, this is either Locke or Strago. This is Strago. Okay, it's probably a preemptive strike. That's actually not helpful too much because I can't tell. One, two, three, that's remedy. One, two, three, that's poison. And one more to fire two. That'll be my go to default sort of thing. Target whatever's in front. Probably stole another gum pod. I've got a ton of those in my inventory at this point. I don't know how much damage that's going to do. If it's a double Baskervore battle, that plus the fire two is just going to end it. But if it's Cephalid, if it, there's a lot of Cephalids, yeah, there's probably double Cephalid and uh, Baskervore. So I just killed the Cephalid that Locke attacked and the Baskervore because of that Aqua Rake, but. Oh, crud. I had someone's turn come up. I didn't even realize. Too busy blabbing, I didn't hear what I was supposed to hear. Uh, my cursor was on equip because I just equipped lock. Skills, item. Uh, Terra didn't get hit. All the way down. That's not too long a distance. One, two, three. Okay, made it. If I made it, I mean I made a whole six more steps. Alright, so this is Terra. Huh? How was that lock? Switched him to the second controller. Okay, I messed something up apparently. Okay, this is probably still Strago. And this has got to be Terra. Yeah, because my targeting's working there. Okay, yeah, that's weird. Locke somehow is, uh... on the wrong controller slot. Even though I swear I tested this out and it worked. Maybe I was wrong about that. Oh, I think this is, uh, Chimera. Given that she only threw off one fire spell. I don't think it's worth fixing my config menu at this point. I'm not sure how I'm going to get this organized anyway, so this has got to be Strago, so just got to plan out my attacks more carefully. So this can either be uh, Terra or Locke. Oh, this is Locke. Alright, 
so let's move her up to poison. These guys can be poisoned, and in such a long drawn out fight, it actually works out okay. Yeah, he's supposed to have a, a thunder rod equipped, which would, I I don't know exactly how what the effect of that would be there, but mug him. Someone else got attacked. Hopefully, no one's close to dead. Oh yeah, Luck probably just got Furied. Most of the time, Fury is actually kind of beneficial when I get hit by it. Because that Berserk status is pretty okay as extra damage, really. All the way to the left. By going all the way to the left and then all the way down here, I can skip a few left and downs that I'd otherwise have to count out and probably get six battles in the middle of. Alright, so... One, two, three. Nice, didn't get... That's the other time I didn't get one. So now I'm walking to the left. It's likely that this will be a triple cephalid battle. Oh no, back attack. Okay, so... This is either terror or lock, but it doesn't matter who because I'll just... Shove them all in the proper rows for now. And that should give Locke the next turn, so I'm not even going to bother checking. Just mug it. Ow, that's not good. This is not going good. I'm eating a lot of attacks, so Strag someone like Strago could die or Locke if he's not evading. If he's evading the tentacles, though, he's probably good. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that Strago didn't make it through that. So I'm gonna fire two the crud out of him. That was probably a waste, hitting the same one again. I should have attacked a different one. Oh, a Baskervore. Never mind, this isn't the battle I thought it was. Oh, wow. Locke just drains, so he should be in the clear now, and Terra's insane defense will hopefully carry her through. She's not eating a ton of tentacles. Which she might be, because... Uh, okay, she's still alive. Fire 2 should continue working. Attack whatever's at the back. Good thing Terra didn't get sneezed out. Okay, so that was a train wreck, but... Item. Down to the Phoenix Down. Up to the Dried Meat. I'm not gonna leave Strago at that HP, let's give him two of these. Yeah, Terra was almost dead. She can't take f Oops. Let's hope that didn't mess anything up, I don't think it did. Gotta run all the way back to the left first, and then I can go right and up. But I was probably in the clear by that point. So I don't think I would have hit the mountain there. Alright, so I'm going right on the next step. Please don't give me another back attack. Oh, give me another back attack. Drago and Locke probably weren't even fully healed because I didn't go very far. Oh no. Fireball. Alright, so... You are Locke. So let's just have you attack. He's probably attacking from the back row or something, but... Uh, you should still be on attack, which I still want you on. And magic. So... What? How? 
did Terra die somehow? She really shouldn't be dead. Okay, never mind. Terra was probably just slowed. No, she can't have been slowed. Uh, whatever. Mm, something. I think it. Yeah, Cure 2's here. Life. Something. Region. Uh, I think this is region. Then again, I thought the other one was region too. She's probably gonna need it after that fireball with the back attack combination. That just doesn't work out so well. Okay, that was fire. Okay, whatever. This has gotta be lock. Hopefully that drain did something. I don't think so though. Oh, another fireball. Let's see if I can get my cure my region shenanigans right this time. Oh, is this still lock? Yeah, I have a feeling Terra's a goner now since I messed up the region. Especially since he's using his special attacks every single turn. That's really not helping. Yeah, Locke just got three attacks. Terra's gotta be dead. Two back attacks in a row. This is not going well at all. But it's not like this segment had to go well because the enemies around here are such chumps. Alright, so... Right up some more. I should be getting close. If I'm lucky, I won't even get another fight, so... Yeah, it's gotta be there. One, two, three. Here we go. Into the mountain, but not yet. Yeah, that wasn't good, but Phoenix Downs are starting to become chump change at this point, so I'm not really that worried. So, on to the next mini sode anyway. 18 minutes, but the next one should be shorter. Alright, so let's continue where we left off. It's been a day since I did the last segment, but hopefully things will... Skills, Equip, Relic. So I should be unlocked, so let's go down to Strago. Equip. Top slot. And one down to the... Uh, relic Ring. The Relic Ring is actually a pretty decent choice on Strago for this next dungeon. Because the enemies sport things like Acid Rain, and Bio, and Raid, and lots of status effects. So, I see no reason not to equip it here. Hopefully I shouldn't need any in battle healing. So, equip. Top slot. All the way down to the bottom. Gotta get that Light Bell on someone, because it's just so useful. Again, lots of status effects, and... The 5 stamina certainly won't hurt, not when she has a ribbon, I mean, life bell on, so. Relic, up one, lock, equip, top slot, and let's shove the black belt on him so that he can hit those bugs a little bit better. Uh, one last thing to do, equip. Uh, wrong person. I don't want to equip lock, I already did all of locks equipping last segment. Equip. Here we go. Alright, now we should be not ready to go because I didn't use a tent. Almost forgot that somewhat important-ish detail. I say important-ish, and I do mean that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because, uh... I probably have enough MP to make it through there just fine. But it doesn't hurt to be cautious. Oh yeah, one last thing, I almost forgot. Uh, this as well. I wonder if my cursor reset when I use that tent. I can't be entirely sure.
one second. Let's go in here for a moment. That's weird. I I swear my cursor reset to the top of the item menu. Must have been because of the strange way the menu was exited when I used the tent. So that confused me for a bit. That's good to know for the future. So I just reset the cursor to the top. And I'll switch their positions so that Locke and Strago can be on the same controller slot like they were intended to be last segment. Alright, so what are you? What are you? Okay, so you are the Batmantoids. Okay, so you are Locke, so attack. Alright, so. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that relic ring should have come on ha in handy on Strago there. So, poison. I'll poison the back one. Alright, this should be Strago. Aqua rake their faces off. It's always a little bit worrying during those gaps of just silence, like, okay, what's going on? Is stuff happening? Just sort of like... Oh, that's not good. That's not a good start at all. I mean, I guess it's not exactly the start, but now they can off my character somewhat. Okay, that wasn't me, so... Um, so I'm on poison, so one down is fire two. Hopefully whoever got hit by that... Oh, crud. Okay, so... Just keep mashing A, because if it's Aqua Rake... Yeah, so hopefully Strago didn't die or... anything. But I'm starting to think he did, because his turn's not coming up. I'm starting to be worried that Terra died too, because Lock just got two attacks in a row. It's not a very good start, but... Okay, so Strago did in fact die, but Terra was not dead, and that was just paranoia. So let's heal Strago back up to full, and hope that the life bells take care of the rest. Just gotta walk up and left until I get to the... There was only like two steps from the entrance too. But I'm not doing the re-equipping again for that. The first run I got killed in very much the same circumstances, but at the same time, I... I wasn't equipped properly, so that was why it wasn't a good idea to keep going, uh, even though I could have. Strago, I'm not going to bother equipping with the Gator Hide, because uh, as far as I see it, all, the biggest effect that will have right now is to decrease the amount of healing I get from Acid Rain. So, yeah, seems... No, that shouldn't happen. I'm being silly, because Absorb just completely tr trumps and negates the having effect, obviously, but... Oh, well, I'm probably at the top right now. But, whatever, it's still not worth amenuating at this point, so... Alright, so, down, right, up. Okay, so if I... The point of that was that I was running in and out of the doorway, and if I stopped out inside the cave, I would go down, right, and then back up into the doorway. But if I'm outside the cave, I'd run down, right, into a rock, and then up back to the same step I was on before. So it would not change my location at all. So obviously that's a good thing. All the way to the left. All the way up. Okay, mountain fight. Okay. Um. So I gotta check who's the, who this is. Yep, figures it's locked. Attack. What was that? 
Oh, it must have been the kudzu attacking. You are Strago. Let's do that. Oh no, you're gonna not do anything. Alright, one, two, three. One, two, three. One more to get to fire two and blast them all. Taking a lot of physical attacks, but they shouldn't be able to deal that much with just their physical attacks. Did you just counter Strago with Raid? That's not going to work very well. I think Raid's a counter anyway. Two things, or maybe the entire battle just died. See you later. So, item. Dried meat. And Strago didn't even take a hit. Either that or he died somehow, but that doesn't seem very likely. Alright. One, two, three. All the way to the right. And uh, at this point, I should be very close to the cave again. Which is a bit of a shame, because I think the uh, outside battles are a little bit easier. Also, considering I got raided in that last fight, one, two, three. I don't have to go out of my way to learn it now. So, right and up. Although I haven't hit Discord yet. Not that I care that much about Discord, probably, but it's still good to have around. It's one of those things that's situational, and the thing with situational is that they're extra not useful in a blindfolded run, because I can't tell what situation I'm in half the time. So I gotta use things that aren't very situational. I mean, I guess the Relic Ring's kind of situational, if you're counting that. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that I've probably made it to the point where there's no more encounters. So down, left, I mean the only encounter I could theoretically run into I guess would be Ultros, but I'd have to be pretty much deliberately trying to get in that gap all the way up to the top, into the doorway. I had half a mind that it was going to give me a battle like one step before the save point, but it appears that didn't happen. So uh, I didn't gain a level that time, but that's okay, I don't really care. See you next time.